So let's talk about a pinhole camera. A pinhole camera. Okay? So a pinhole camera is working on the principle of rectilinear propagation of light. What does that mean? Now, first thing first, let's make a very simple pinhole camera. You can make a pinhole camera by just getting a box. You can get a carton. And then at the back of that box or the back of that carton, you put a photographic plate. You have a photographic plate. Photographic plate. Okay. Or screen. You have a screen. Then you now use a pin and create a hole, a tiny hole. You use a pin and just create a hole on that box. That is why it is called a pinhole in the first place. Okay, so I use a hole, um, a pin, and I create a hole there. Okay, so you see that if lights, this is an object. So I have an object at a far distance. The light from that object will pass through that hole and cast the image of that object on the screen. Okay, so look at that. This is my object. This is my object. This is my image. I have my image. Okay, so the light from that object goes in and strikes that uh, screen and forms there. Now, what questions can they ask us here in JAMB? What question can they ask us from here? Even in nursing school, it can be a question. So make sure you take note. One of the first things that we ask you here is, what is the effect of increasing the size of this pinhole? So what is the effect? If I decide that this hole is too small and I want to increase the size, the effect is that it will blur the image. It will blur the word image. Don't forget that. It will blur the image. So if you try to use Anyuku here and open the box, make it bigger, it will blur the image. Okay? So make sure that you don't blur the image. Just that is why it is called a pinhole. So take note of that. Okay, it is going to blur the image. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing here is they go, they are going to ask us the magnification of the word of the image. Magnification of the image. So, M is what we use to um, represent magnification of image. We use M to represent magnification. Now, you can find it in two ways. You can either use image distance over object distance. So, what did I say? V represents image distance. You represents object distance. So what is image distance? Image distance is the distance between the image and the pinhole. So in this box now, from here to here is your V. Okay? From this end of the box to this end of the box. Why are we saying from the end of the box to the end of the box? Because at one end of the box, you have the pinhole. This is the pinhole. And then on the other end of the box, you have the image, which is on the screen. So V is your image distance. And then there is a twist. In jam questions or in wire questions or in nursing questions, they will not tell you that the image distance is this. What you will see is length of box. Length of box. Or you will see width of box. So either you see length of box or width of box. Now, the length of the box or the width of the box, they both represent V. They both represent V. I say it again. In exams, they might not tell you that V, they will not tell you that the, um, what is it called? That the image distance is this. They will not use that sentence, image distance. What you will see is length of the box, width of the box, or they might use something else of the box. That is what they will refer to you. Just know that that is what is V. And then next, look at my object. The distance between my object and the pinhole is my object distance. That is U. So image distance over object distance will give us what? Magnification. Now what next? Or we can use the formula that magnification is equal to HI over HO. What is HI? HI is the height of the word image so that image that was formed here must have a height so hi is the height of that image and ho is the height of the object that is the height of this object that we have here the height of that thing that is in front of the words uh, the pinhole camera that is ho objects height 
if you combine these two formulas you will have the pinhole camera formula and that pinhole camera formula is v over u equals hi over h o hi over h o hi over h o that is our pinhole camera what formula remember v is image distance u is object distance hi is image height and ho is object what height another thing they will ask you from this pinhole camera is they are going to ask you about the properties of the image formed they are going to ask you about the property of the image formed the property of the image formed now let me clean this formula out and then let us know what the property would be the said property of the image formed now when i was in secondary school i developed a way to be able to remember those properties they are just three in number i used rid to repress to remember them i use rid to represent or remember it so what do i do this r means that the image is real r means that the image is real i means that the image is inverted and then d means that the image is diminished diminished so use that pattern to remember the properties of images formed by pinhole camera so r means that image is real i means image is inverted d means that image is what diminished don't forget that okay so what does it mean so when we say that image is real it means that the image can be captured on a screen any image that can be captured on a screen or on a surface is a real image so this image because we were able to capture the image of this object on this screen at the back the image is what real next is inverted image is inverted now what does that mean if you look at my object here my arrowhead is pointing up but look at the image my arrowhead is pointing down so i say that the image is what now inverted image is inverted so it is upside down upside down and then finally i said that image is diminished now look at the size of this object and look at the size of this image you see that object is bigger than image and because of that we say that it is what diminished assuming that image was bigger than object we will say it's what magnified okay so that is the properties of images formed by what pinhole camera